Hey yo, this crazy talk. I'm crazy. Well, uh, really not really, but I got some news you can use. Hey, vampires, vampires, they exist, but not the vampires that are, um, you know, like fly across the sky and come to suck your blood. You know, not those vampires. I'm not talking about those vampires. I'm talking about energy vampires. Energy vampires, they exist. I'm about to tell you on this video how you can spot some energy vampires and some things that you could do to protect your energy from energy vampires. Go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna give y'all some free game. The only thing you gotta do is pay attention. All right? The number one, well, before we get to it, what is an energy vampire? Energy vampire is somebody that you ex exchange your time you give them some of your time and then they're they're taking your energy away from you. You're gonna feel different from being around this person. Alright, your 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 vibe is gonna go down, your energy is gonna go down from dealing with this person. Or you could be in a you know, an um an emotional drive-by is what they call it, where you could be having a good time, a good day, your, your morning done started all right, you get a phone call, this person has came and they've just pulled up to you like a drive-by and they just dumped all their problems. They just dumped all their energy. They everything, whatever they going through, they just dumped it on you. And then when they get off the phone, you, for the rest of your day, you thinking like, oh, you thinking about their problems. Whatever they was talking about, now now you're consumed with that. And you thinking about that. And they might not even be dealing with that no more because you uplifted them. They they used you to uplift them, to talk to them. They're not even thinking about that no more. Okay, so that's basically what an energy vampire is. And now I'm gonna um, tell y'all some ways to spot an energy vampire. But um, you need to think about your energy like a um, like a cell phone battery. The battery on a cell phone or on a video game. You know, when you're running around and a person got your the energy is in the top. That's how we got that's how our lives are. That's how we need to think about our energy on an everyday basis because the things that you're doing on a daily basis and the people that you interact with, that can bring your energy bar down. So you have to be conscious of who you're dealing with, what you're watching, and a lot of things so that your energy don't go down. So by the end of the day, you won't even have any energy for yourself or for the little loved ones or for the things that you like to do. So pay attention. Like I said, hit that like button. Here we go. Number one, the first way that you can find out that you're dealing with an energy vampire is if this person is always playing the victim. Like no matter what's going on, they are the victim. They never do wrong. It could be like this person could have lost their job. They come to you and tell you, oh, the, the boss hates me. The boss, he, he, he got it in for me. He races, he, uh, he don't like boys or he don't like girls, he, he homophobic or it could be so many reasons why they telling you that the job don't, the boss don't like him. They got fired, all these reasons. But what they don't tell you is that, you know, the person hardly ever comes to work. You know, but when they do come to work, they there late, they got caught stealing from the job, they was doing drugs in the bathroom, texting on the phone, all these all these things that cause them to be fired, but they don't tell you that. They just tell you, you know, the boss hates me. You know, it's not my fault. I can't believe I got fired. Or maybe a girl, my girl come to you. Oh my eyes is is bleeding. Busted all open and she can't believe that this dude at the bar then hit her. And now somebody, you happen to find out like, okay, let me see the video. Somebody sent you the videos. So you can see what's happening. And you see that this person is, uh, they drunk and they belligerent. They was in the bar cussing everybody out. They actually had bottles and hitting people all over the head with the bottles and just causing and making a scene. And the, the girl could have been beating up this, this guy's girlfriend and he just happened to intervene and pushed her out the way. And she ran into something or he may even hit her to to protect what was going on to protect herself but they, she don't tell you none of that stuff she's just gonna tell you the stuff that she needs to tell you to fit her narrative and that she's the victim and it's not her fault is what she's telling you that's the first time this person all always the victim then when you try to help this person or try to give them advice they're not gonna take it they're gonna say yeah but uh, or I hear you just saying, but I don't think that because if you try to help this person, what's gonna happen? They're no longer the victim. 
and they they're not gonna like that if you, you try to help them and bring them out their situation they're not gonna be the victim no more so they don't they're not gonna be cool with that you know uh, so that's not good let's talk about the number two the second way that you can find out that you're dealing with an energy vent power is if this person is always trying to one up you you know they always you tell them something and they got something else to say already you need even you could be like hey man i'm about to start a new business I, I actually started a new business let me tell you what it is this person can be like oh you started a new business i was thinking about starting a new business and they, and they, they begin to tell you about the things they're thinking about doing they haven't started their business but they, these are the thoughts that they they you know they have because they they're thinking about starting a business but they're about to tell you about it and the whole story is going to change the whole what was going on has changed because you you contacted them to tell you to tell them about the good news and now the, the whole conversation has changed because they they're talking to you about their news now you know what i'm saying you can be like hey you know i i just got a raise at work like, oh you got a raise oh that's cool i'm, I'm getting a raise too my, my i got a promotion last week and i'm about to do this and that and they just are they always got to be telling you something you tell them a story they gotta they gotta figure out how they can tell you a story about what they going through and that's not you know that's the second way that you can find out if you're dealing with an energy vampire all right i got the tea i got the tea for y'all look the third reason that you can find out that you're dealing with an energy vampire is if you have someone who always wants to gossip but always in unnecessary drama every time they contact you they be like oh man you ain't gonna believe this you ain't gonna believe that hey i'm about to tell you something but don't tell this don't tell so and so they just they always want to tell you and talk about other people's problems you know what i'm saying not dealing with their own problems but they just want to gossip about stuff that's the energy vampire number four if you've been with somebody who could just make you feel different they just when you're around these people they can literally make you feel tired they drain you your energy so after talking to them after just being around them you just don't feel like you felt when you you know woke up or before you encounter this person you just feel different you could you could have a headache now you could be depressed because they done told you stuff about their life and now now they de now you depressed because you're feeling for them or yo i used to have this bad chick okay she was cold and I should have known something was wrong with her because she got my name tied on her before we even before we even said that we was together or something or before we even had sex, she had my name tattooed on her. And when we start kicking it and stuff, like I don't know what what it was, but I just would feel sick. Like literally, I would feel sick to my stomach. It was some times where I even threw up. Like like I had to throw up when she was telling me she was coming over or we was hanging out. Like I just felt sick you know somebody can literally make you sick all right number five if you've been with somebody body that is always complaining always nagging no matter what's going on these people are gonna nag you probably dealing with an energy vampire like you could hey you take somebody on a vacation y'all in hawaii she like oh man i can't believe it's so hot out here I, on my edges is they oh they ruined i can't believe it's just so hot out here. I can't enjoy myself. We can't even go nowhere. Now you take her somewhere else. It's cold. Oh my God, it's so cold here. I can't believe we came here. It feel like we're in Antarctica. When I sneeze, my snot is freezing to my lips. I can't believe we're here. Then you can take her to paradise. And she'll be like, oh my God, it's so perfect here. I can't believe that. Oh my God, when we came here, the, the doves came. They flew down and brought me a drink. And then I want them in the water. So, um... Some seagulls came up to me and they swam around me. Some dolphins, they, they let me ride their back. I can't believe the hotel is so nice. This is too perfect. It's, it's, it's gotta be a setup. What's going on? Get me up out of here. It'll be some reason, they always find some reason to complain about what's going on. And that's how you know you are dealing with an energy vampire. All right? Number six. I'm trying to make this fast as I can because I'm dropping a lot of videos for y'all this week. All right, so number six, the sixth way that you may be able to identify you're dealing with a energy vampire is if this person had, has convinced themselves that they need you or they, you know, they, they need you in their life. You, you've helped this person a lot, so they feel like they need you and they may have even convinced you to think that, you know, they need you. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all think that, that you need them or not you need them, but they need you. You know, so like they they're codependent on, on you. Like 
if you not there for them or they texting you or they calling you and you don't answer these people will have a mental breakdown they will flip that that hey don't answer the phone for energy vampire and see what's gonna happen they're gonna flip out they're gonna flip out you're gonna tell you know because they their happiness or what's going on in their life they think they need you but you should know that no amount of love or compassion or support is gonna be enough for somebody who doesn't love themselves, who can't be there for themselves, you know what I'm saying? So be careful with somebody who says they need you. You know, sometimes people do go through things and um, they will they will need you. And as a chosen one, or you know, I, people have termed the, the phrase the chosen ones, but I think I'm gonna call us the people, you know, glitches because we, we the glitches in the matrix but anyway the chosen ones the glitches we are naturally compassionate for people we want to help people out you know that's what we're here for and that's not what we're here for but that's something that we can do while we're here is to help people out and show them a different way and so you're gonna want to naturally be there for these people and uh, sometimes they will take advantage of you so sometimes they like just act like they need you and if you're not there for them they gonna they gonna flip all right all right, number seven, the number seven, seven, the seventh way you can find out if you're dealing with an energy vampire. Now, these are about to be a little different, all right? So, social media. Social media is an energy vampire. And the word media, uh, that comes from the uh, a Greek goddess named Medea, or Medea, M-E-D-E-A. Medea was the Greek goddess of what? Who know? Who know? Anybody know? What was the Greek goddess Medea known for? I'm asking y'all, but ain't nobody gonna answer because I'm in here by myself, so let me just tell y'all. She was the goddess of illusion. And so when you think of Medea, media, uh, social media, all this stuff, that when you, when you are tied into social media, this can definitely drain your energy because you're looking at all these people's lives who you think is perfect, but they just showing you the, the stuff that they want you to see. You're not knowing what's going on behind the scenes because they're not as transparent. You know, they, they have a character and they just showing you the best part of their life. Now you want to compare your life. You you see them taking trips, you wonder why you're not taking trips. You see them with designer stuff, you wonder why you ain't got the designer stuff. You see them with the fat butts, you wonder why you ain't got it. You know, and all this stuff is gonna drain your energy. Also, not having likes and comments and response to the things that you're posting, these stuff is gonna drain your energy too. The instant gratification by, by getting these dopamine hits that social media provides to us is bad. Um, you should do a 24 hour social media de detox. I want to make a video about that because I did that a while ago and I think that really helped me. But social media is, a, is definitely an energy vampire. And since we are on media still, the number eight thing is also regular media like news so like like i said the the greek goddess medea they use the, the why would somebody in english pick that same name to go with you know the that's a spanish word that means uh that was the goddess of illusion so why would they make that you know the word for english now because the news is an illusion TV is an illusion. If you're spending too much time on TV, watching fear-based media, that's an energy vampire. You wake up in the morning and you see um, all this stuff that's going bad on the news. Like, this is gonna be in your brain, on your head, for the rest of the day. You wake up early watching Fox 6, um, you know, early morning news, whatever they call it. I don't even know what they call it, but when you go in there, they hardly show any positive stories. You, you could go in there and be like, oh, Somebody got shot, this kid got shot or whatever. And now you have to deal with, that's gonna be in your head all day. You're thinking about all this bad stuff that's in your head that you heard from the news. And then not only that, you might wanna tell somebody else about it. Like, oh my God, did you hear what happened? Did you hear what happened to this person? Did you hear what happened there? Now you, you also spreading this bad energy and bringing the next person energy down just because of what you heard from the from the media, from the news. And a lot of stuff don't even be true. It be true, a little bit be true, but you know, it's all entertainment. It's everything is connected to, it's a distraction. So be careful about the type of media that you're consuming, all this fear-based media and the, the TV that you're watching. Like, you know, if you're gonna be watching a lot of negative stuff, a lot of stuff that's not helping you get to your next level, it's a distraction. So 
so be careful because number seven and eight go together social media and regular media those can be energy vampires number nine The ninth thing that can be a uh, energy vampire is food. And this is going to be quick because I already know a lot of people are going to be able to relate with this one. A lot of people. You ever went to your grandma's house on Thanksgiving, Christmas, Sunday night, Sunday night uh, dinner, you're eating all this food, and as soon as it's over, you get tired, you want to take a nap. Black people, we call that the itis. You ever had the itis before? That's That's... You probably have, I'm sure you have. So you know that food can drain your energy. As Soon as you eat that food, you don't even make it home yet. You fall asleep in the car because your energy is gone now. So be careful what type of food that you eat. They got food that will lower your energy and they also have foods like fruits and vegetables and foods that ain't heated up so much. These foods will raise your energy. Okay, be careful and mindful, cautious about the food that you're eating, okay? And number 10, the last one I'm going to do for today is the music. Be careful what type of music that you're listening to. They got all these depressed songs, these emo songs, these sad breakup songs. And you listen and you just had a breakup song. You just had a breakup, so you want to go listen to a breakup. So I don't understand why, why people do that. Um, and, and going back to the movies and TVs and stuff. I never was the type to like if somebody be like, oh, you gotta you gotta watch this movie. It's gonna make you cry. I'd be like, why would I do that? Why would I do that? You just tell me it's gonna make you cry and say right here emotional on the thing. I'm not. This is not something I probably wanna. You know, why would I do that? And the music is the same way. These people with these songs, they they got sad songs or depressed songs. Now you listening to it, and now you in the same mood that they was in. You depressed also. So that's another, that's, that's the 10th way you can spot that you're dealing with a energy vampire. Um, and now we about to talk about how you can prevent yourself from these energy vampires. All right, all right. That's what she said. You see this? I know you've been paying attention. You see this and you see this. And you probably see that too. You know who those are? Those are the Lost Boys. The Lost Boys was my favorite movie when growing up. I used to go to Blockbuster all the time and just get the Lost Boys. Every time I go there, I get the Lost Boys. And this is very important because I'm gonna tie all of this in to that movie. Because if anybody know anything about the Lost Boys or any type of vampire movies, vampires got rules, right? Uh, they come out at nighttime. They don't go out in the daytime. Um, they sleep in caves. They fly. They're allergic to garlic. Um, but one one rule that's really important and ties into this and how you protect your energy from energy vampires. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. One way you can t protect your energy from energy vampires is not accepting the invitation. Everybody knows that, well not everybody knows, but plenty of people know that in vampire movies, they cannot enter your home unless you allow them to. You have to invite them, you have to tell them that it's okay for them to come in your house. Like the, the vampire can come to your crib, chase you all the way to your house. When he get there, you know, if you in the house, he can't come in the house unless you invite him. And that's really important because the way that you protect your energy is not accepting his invitation. Don't invite them into your surroundings. Don't invite them to nothing that you got going on. You can say no. Like, just don't accept the invitation. Peep this. If somebody sent me an invitation, it's a 420 party right in the front. I open it up and be like, hey, Craig, we inviting you to the, the 420 party. There's going to be a lot of weed there. You can smoke there. Uh, Rihanna and Sade is going to be in there. And, you know, come on gonna have a good time. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm good at that. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. Sade gonna be there? Rihanna? I mean, it's gonna be a little difficult because, you know, we talk, you know, they're my girlfriends, so it's gonna be just awkward having both of us in the building at the same time, but I think we'll be able to get through that. But, like, if someone sent me an invitation, and don't take this the wrong way, I got nothing wrong with gay people, but if somebody, I'm not gay, 
But somebody sent me a, a invitation to a party and it said it had two dudes in the front. Oh, it had three dudes on the front kissing each other or a broke back mountain cover, like the movie cover on the front. And you, oh, I probably wouldn't even open it up, first of all. But then as you open it up, it'd be like, hey, Cray, we having a, a shindig. Come down to this broke back Martin, broke back mountain party, theme party that we having. It's going to be guys kissing. We got kissing booths set up. Um, we got somebody who's going to paint your face and play with your butthole. And we got, um, it's going to be just wear your drawers. And we're going to have balls swinging everywhere. Come and have a good time. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna pay that no attention. I'm not gonna ask them what, what's the dress code. I'm not gonna ask them what time it start, what kind of food. I'm not gonna ask any questions about that because that's not something that I wanna be involved in. I don't think I wanna go there, so I'm not gonna pay that no attention. I'm not gonna pay that no mind. I'm not gonna accept the invitation. And that's the same way you gotta look at, at what's going on with these energy vampires. If, if somebody is calling you, somebody is texting you, and this person that you know, every time they text you, every time they call you, is draining your energy, you feel different. Why would you keep accepting the phone call? Why would you keep talking to them? If you are going to a place where you know somebody is gonna be there that you don't get along with, you know it's gonna, they're gonna be doing some things that you don't wanna do, some, you know, just things that you're not cool with, why would you go? Once you go, you start, you're accepting the invitation. So now it's no longer their fault, you know what I'm saying? Because you you decide to go there. Now it's not your fault, but now it is your problem and you and you have to deal with that. Okay? So say no to these energy vampires. They don't care who it is. It could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your brother, your sister, your friends, your best friend. You have to protect your energy, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna be there for yourself and nobody gonna take care of yourself like you. And on that note, that note right there, T-C-O-Y, take care of yourself. I'll see y'all again, Takoy. Peace. Wise words from a real guy. Cause real lies, real lies, real lies. Pay attention cause sometimes I'm in the meet the skies. Why you looking for them? They could be under your eyes. I'm trying to tell you to be careful who you call friends. And your back is where they stab you over small ends. The same rules apply for the ones you call kin. You having money, where they gonna be when it's all spent? You looking for them, but they gone when this shit get real. Same ones you die for might get you killed. The niggas probably sell their soldiers. Just to get a deal This is food for thought, nigga You just get the bill And tip the waiter Tip the waiter People are strange And when you a stranger Faces look ugly When you alone Women are wicked When you don't want it Who you gonna turn to When you down People are strange And when you a stranger Faces look ugly When you alone Women are wicked When you don't want it Who you gonna turn to When you down When you strange When you strange uh, uh, no, no, no.